I'm the oldest child, 20, and my parents have been Christian all my life. Now as an adult and knowing God, it's hard to reconcile that my parents have little to no spiritual fruit. Yeah, this is, a, this is, a, this is more epidemic than um, coronavirus, this one. If God can't change them after all these years, how do I know? How do I know he's worth worshiping? That's a profound question. First of all, it's very sad. There's a good friend of mine who's here sitting. I'll look the other way so I don't embarrass him. Uh, years ago, some 20, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, he told me something I've never forgotten and I always remember. He said that his dad would always tell him when it comes to Christianity and ministry, always keep your eyes six feet or higher, six feet or above. Keep your eyes six feet or above. Do you know what that means? It means don't look at people. So listen, I want to tell you, I know it breaks your heart that your parents, their faith is getting sloppy or they're giving up on God or whatever it is, or they, I don't know what, but according to your estimation, there's no spiritual fruit in them anymore, or if there ever was. Your question is, how, how do you know if God is worth worshiping? You've asked the most important question of all. Notice your age, you're 20. You're no longer, and you see it, you're no longer under the covering of your parents' faith anymore. You're on your own. You're saying tonight, I'm glad I'm on my own because I don't like what I'm seeing coming from them. Number one, God bless you for seeing the hypocrisy in your parents' life. That's a good thing. Number two, don't be like them. Now now it's time to break. Get your own faith going. You want to know if Jesus is worthy of worship? This, your question exposes the very thing I just challenged the church about. It's highly possible that you don't have a testimony, that you don't have a transformative story to tell. It's very possible. You say, how can you say that? You're, you're, you're giving me a paper cut and pouring lemon juice on it at the same time. No, no, no. You've become disillusioned by your parents' faith. Yet you know that it's not representative of what you're reading in the Bible. Make a choice. If you choose your parents' faith, then Jesus Christ is not worth worshiping. If you choose biblical faith, then you'll fall in love with him starting tonight. You understand? It's very important. You're looking at them instead of him. You've got your eyes six feet and down. You need to get your eyes six feet and above. Six feet and above means you're always going to be seeing Jesus. No matter what anybody does to you, keep your eyes on Jesus. Yeah, but that pastor hurt my feelings. That pope, that priest, that evangelist, that person, that... Keep your eyes six feet and above. Every person will let you down in life, one way or another, it's going to happen. God will never fail you. He's worthy of your worship.